Good morning, beautiful souls. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, and I apologize in advance for how shaky um, this video is going to be. I really need to get myself a new ring light. <laughs> but um, first, before we get into today's message, I really wanted to discuss how the night before last, on Monday night, we had the full wolf moon in Cancer. Now, this was an extremely powerful full moon. Being in the sign of Cancer, we're talking about our inner world, okay? So this can be home, parents, roots, and inner security, okay? These are really important topics that bring up um, some wounds in all of us in one way or another. So where I would like to think that this morning is really um, the end of the energy of that full moon or today. And um, if you have not yet, I want you to either write down or think about what you want to release with this full moon and cancer energy, okay? For example, um, any childhood wounds that you've been dealing with, any wounds regarding um, your your home or your parents, um, your, your home when you were a child or your home now. And um, this is very personal to me. If you heard yesterday's message, I have some big changes coming in my life and my family's life surrounding home. So I am releasing any attachments that I have um, from my current home that is making it more difficult for me to focus on moving on um, to my next phase in life. So again, I want you to go ahead and um, just take a few minutes to really think about what you can release today that is really going to help you um, when it's time to set intentions next month. Because it's really difficult to set intentions for certain things. For example, how can I intend to um, focus on manifesting um, the home of my dreams if I have not released these attachments to um, where I am right now? Okay, so it's very, very important. This is a very strong energy work with this cancer energy. Um, we don't have much long left, uh, much longer left. Um, I honestly should have talked about this yesterday, but it's never too late. So let's go ahead and do that today. All right, so let's jump into today's message, number 38, reliable. One of your biggest challenges may be relying on yourself. It is easier for you to be dependable for someone else. When you offer to help someone move, clean up, or with some sort of project, you make a commitment to them and you make sure that you follow through. Yet, when it comes to making a promise to yourself, you are not so steadfast. Being accountable to yourself is the first step in really shifting your relationship with you. How many times have you made a commitment to yourself but quit soon afterwards. When you resolve to get a good night's sleep, to start and stick to an exercise program, to eat healthy, to start writing, or to finish off a project, you want to know that you can count on yourself to do it. And I talk about this a lot in my daily messages about keeping promises to yourself. Begin a new practice of self-reliance by keeping small commitments to yourself. Use a calendar, notebook, or some other tracking device to list your goals. Be specific about time frames or completion dates. If you have been putting off cleaning out a drawer or something simple like that, put it on your calendar. Make a date and stick to it. You have renegotiated with yourself so many times you may not trust in yourself. Follow through with whatever you have told yourself you will do. Give yourself something small to accomplish every day. Take pride in yourself and your willingness to let yourself down. A maiden plays a harp on a beautiful moonlit night. Candles surround her as she strums her melody. A lit candle represents the four main archangels. The flame is Archangel Michael, fire. The smoke from a lit candle is Archangel Raphael, air. The melting wax is Arch. Archangel Gabriel, water, and the candle itself is Archangel Uriel, earth. 
These archangels are the perfect energies to work with as you shift your pattern from not following through to wholeheartedly committing to the promises you make to yourself. Angels are 100% love. They can guide you to the best decisions and outcomes. Dedicating yourself to your own goals and commitments will have many benefits. You will have a stronger, more trusting relationship with yourself. It is time to be your own best friend. And I love this message so much. Spirit is really telling you today that it's a great thing to feel good when you can be accountable and dependable for your family members, for your friends, um, for your coworkers, for those around you. But, but we're, we are on this self-love journey, every single one of us, to really be able to trust and be able to rely on ourselves is something that is ever so important. And we forget about that. We don't realize that. And today you are being encouraged to start small, take baby steps to start making and keeping promises that you make to yourself. Okay, start small. And you might be like, oh, this is, you know, it really doesn't matter. And it, yes, it really does. Because I have been practicing this for the whole last year. And you guys even still hear me say sometimes, you know, my follow through kind of stinks sometimes. And um, I'm well aware that I struggle to keep promises that I make to myself. So I do make an honest effort to not say to myself that I'm going to do something that I really don't feel ready yet to do and to give myself tasks to complete that um, I, I do feel good about when I'm finished. I'm like, yes, I told myself I was going to do this. I did it. I completed it. And it feels really good to stick to my own word. Okay. That is your goal for the day today. Like um, the card said, whether it's a drawer you need to clean out, it's um you know, anything, anything at all that you have to do. An appointment that you've been putting off, okay? Um, the bigger things like um, exercising and quitting smoking and stuff like that, uh, we'll get to later. But right now, start small, okay? And then you'll start to notice that when you set intentions on the new moon every month, that your follow through is actually going to be uh, more consistent. Because not only is the universe and your guides and your angels doing work on their side to help you progress to this manifestation of this life that you want to live. But at the same time, you are following through and meeting the universe halfway to reach your intentions and your goals that you set for yourself for your future. All right. All right, guys. I hope you have a super awesome day today. Um, love, light, and blessings. I am now open for all readings. I am back. I'm so excited. And um, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, guys.